Hey guys, welcome back to the another video of Engineers Academy. So, guys, uh, in our last video, we have seen the different kind of accessories which is used along with the pressure gauges. So, we have seen the adapter, what kind of material is used in manufacturing of this adapter, gauge savers we have seen. We have also seen this uh, siphons, different types of siphons, capillaries we have seen. Also, we have seen this cooling towers and types of cooling towers basically. So guys, please click here on the top right corner to more about this accessories. So guys, let's begin with uh, today's topic. That is the what kind of the walls and manifold which is used in the field of instrumentation, which is used along with the pressure gauges and pressure transmitter. The first one is the needle wall. So guys, over here, this is the needle wall, which is very commonly used in the field of instrumentation in the process lines also. So basic function of this needle wall is to provide the isolation between the process and instrument. So over here, this pressure gauge is mounted on the needle valve and this is the inline connection between this needle valve and the pressure gauge. So over here, this is the sectional view which is represents the needle wall. Over here, this is the needle which is uh, like actuated up and uh, down uh, by this stem and screw assembly which allows the flow to pass from left to right over here so guys let's talk about the specification of this needle wall the first and very important element is the body the body can be made of ss316 or ss304 or it can be of brass which is less costly the next one is the connection type it can be of threaded process connection or as pipe type that is of 6mm pipe 8mm pipe or 10mm pipe so pipe type is nothing but the compression fitting basically the next one is the instrument connection. So guys, the instrument connection is nothing but the at which the instrument is gets fixed on a one side of this needle wall. The next one is the process connection. The another side which is fixed, uh, another side which is mounted on the process basically. So guys, this instrument connection and process connection can be very depends upon the requirement that can be of the threaded one that is half inch BSP, NPT or any other threaded. Over here, it is uh, denoted as half inch BSP. I have shown over here and this sectional view represents this is the compression type that is the pipe type, which is also known as the compression fitting needle valve. So guys, moving ahead, the next is the ball valve. So guys, we have seen this ball valves in various like applications in a pipe on the pipes also. So guys, this ball valve, which is used for the isolation as well as the flow flow regulation kind of uh, application which is used so guys over here this pressure gauge is mounted which is along with this particular ball wall that is the inline connection which is same as that of the previous one which is needle valve so guys over here this ball wall is used along with the pressure gauge so guys this is the sectional view we can see clearly over here inside a steel ball uh, which is used uh, for isolation so as we move that knob, the ball also moves over here. This is the three stages. The valve is fully open at first stage. The second stage is valve is the partially open, which is the state of flow regulation. And the valve is fully closed. That is the state of isolation. Basically, this ball is uh, like uh, rotated along the central axis. So let's talk about the specification of the ball valve basically. So guys, first of all, the model, the model can be anything depends upon the manufacturer standard. It is very varies as per the manufacturer. The next one is the body material. The material can be of SS304, 316 brass or die cast aluminum in case of the flange or the heavy large fittings. Basically, the next is the wetted part material or trim material. It can be of SS316L or LSPTFE. And the last one is the instrument connection. It is the connection at which the instrument is gets fixed. As we can see over here, this pressure gauge is mounted. That will be the instrument connection. The next one is the process connection. That is nothing but the connection at which the valve gets fixed, which it can be on the uh, boiler or it can be on any equipment also. So guys, over here, this is the threaded connection I have shown that is nothing but the half inch BSV female by female ball valve. It can be of the flange type also, or else it can be of this compression fitting type also that can be mounted on the pipe, different types of pipes. So guys, moving ahead, the next is the manifolds. So it is having the three types basically. The first one is the two valve manifold. 
having the two walls the per, uh, which is same as that of the needle wall except there is one wall and over here these two walls moving ahead is the next is the three wall manifold so here is the three walls are given and the next one is the five wall manifold so this is the having five walls over here provided so guys these all are the accessories are used in the case of pressure gauges pressure transmitters and differential pressure measurement units basically so guys this first one is the two-way manifold which is also called as the block and bleed valve so guys this one over here this pressure gauge that is the smart type pressure gauge is mounted on this uh, manifold over here this is the instrument connection which is female instrument connection and the process connection is the male I think this is half inch NPT over there so this wall which is so shown having the red strip is the isolation wall which is always nearby to the process connection and the second one is the vent out valve guys so guys the vent out uh, valve is provided over here so whenever the block wall is closed the whole body gets isolated like instrument along with the instrumentation instrument so whenever we used open this bleed wall so bleed wall is used for remote calibration of this particular pressure transmitter or particular instrument so guys without affecting the pro process we can do calibration by the, with the help of this two-way manifold so let's talk about the specification of two-way manifold so the first one is the model can be as per the manufacturer standard the second one is type so type can be vary as per the requirement and application basically so there are a lot of types these are you can see over here this is the threaded one flanged one and the female by female t type the manifolds so the end connection can be very depends upon the type basically that can be threaded or flanged the next one is the body material the body model can be of ss304 316 inconel incoloy hastelloy or it can be any exotic material as well the trim material can be same this is as per the requirement which is wetted part material we can call it as a. the next one is the maximum working temperature so basically over here this temperature matters basically that is 240 degrees celsius maximum working temperature for two way manifold which and the maximum working pressure is depends upon the manufacturer standards so moving ahead the next is the three way manifold so guys three way manifold can be used for this the differential pressure measurement type basically over here you can see that this is the pressure transmitter is fitted with the three way manifold over here this is the extra valve that is nothing but the equalizing valve which is provided and two block walls that is for the isolation wall so over here this is the T type arrangement which is shown over here and uh, the next one is the equalizing valve the equalizing valve provides the equal pressure on this both sides as we can say this is the differential pressure measurement which is having the higher pressure side and a low pressure side so guys this equalizing wall equalizes this both uh, high and the low pressure basically so guys let's talk about the specification for this three-way manifold basically so guys the model which is same as that of the manufacturer standard type as per the requirement and the application it will vary the next one is the body material which is again same that is the SS304, 316 or it can be carbon steel or it can be various grades of the steel. The next one is the trim material that can be SS316L or PTFE. The instrument connection that can be of the flange type or the threading type which is I have shown over here this can be anything depends upon the requirement basically instrument connection. The process connection will also vary and upon which which uh, like equipment we are going to mount that manifold wall this is also matters over here so the process connection will also vary over here in this case so the next one and the last one is the five wall manifold over here so guys this five way manifold which is also used for the differential pressure measurement guys but the operation over here which is same as that of the three way manifold but except that over here this five walls are provided the extra two walls which are depicted over here in green strip which are the vent or test wall so guys you remember in two-way manifold we have we can do the remote calibration of pressure transmitter 
over here we can do the remote calibration of differential pressure transmitter the rest of the specification is same as that of the three wall manufacturer except of these two walls which is shown so except the types which can vary as per the application over here this five way manifolds can be have various types over here i have shown guys so guys that was the three manifolds we have seen okay so guys these are nothing but the hydraulics walls and we can also call as a also called it as a high pressure applications so guys uh, we have seen the accessories of pressure gauges and manifolds we have seen the walls and manifolds also basically over here so guys i hope you like our video so if you like my video please hit like over here if you have any doubts and queries please do comment below and guys please do share all my videos on the social networks guys so guys uh, please do subscribe to my educational channel engineers academy so thank you so much for watching this video guys